Hello everyone and happy Thursday to you. So today we are totally back to business as normal. I feel like it has been a long freaking time since we have just done like some normal regular videos. If you missed it on Tuesday, it was actually Halloween on Tuesday, we uploaded a Halloween special that is my personal favorite video we have ever made in my life. It was so much fun to make but also so much work. So for all of you that did watch it and did comment and did watch through the whole thing, we so appreciate it. We were so proud of that. We premiered it and we chatted with you guys and it was just so much fun. We were handing out candy to trick-or-treaters while watching with you guys. It was just a blast. I love that video. It's basically a bolo list but it's very campy and each brand gets its own kind of like scene. So if you missed it, that's the last thing that went up. Then of course on Saturday we had a little special video go up thanking you guys for supporting supporting us throughout our entire YouTube journey and honestly almost like relationship. We've made videos almost the entire time we've been together. So you guys have seen us since the very, very early stages. So I made a video for you guys then. And then right before that was of course the Q&A on our 2023 everything. I'm not gonna dive too much into talking about our wedding right now. First off, I don't wanna waste so much time. And second off, I don't want to get emotional. So I'm gonna leave that, I think, for the end of What's Sold Saturday. So if you are here to hear a little bit about our wedding, we will talk a little bit about it at the end of What's Sold Saturday. I think we're gonna open some P.O. Box packages and chit chat with you guys at the end of the video. We will make a second channel video in November, probably about halfway through or three fourths of the way through talking about our wedding. I will just say to you guys, it was by far the best night of my entire life. It went so much better than I expected. There were so many very memorable moments and emotional moments and we carried on and we carried on traditions from my family's past, my parents' wedding and Ryan's parents' wedding and <sighs> and it was very good. I will just say, it was fantastic. Honestly, like nothing went wrong at all. Things went better than I even expected. So that's all I'm gonna say for now. As you can see, I cannot handle talking about it very long. I don't know why I've been, I, maybe tell me if you're married, did you go through this weird, th like the wedding is like a no-no topic for me to talk about at least right now because I get super emotional. I'm, let's start, let's jump into the haul. Okay, so this is stuff. <laughs> This is stuff that I got actually the week before the wedding. I went to the bins twice and they were super, super good as they have been a lot lately, but I don't really remember what I got because <laughs> now it's been like two weeks since I've seen this stuff. I have not taken pictures. I have not listed it. I have to do that after this video. So this is almost like me reacting with you guys, but I can guarantee you it's really, really good. I do remember the bins were super good both days. We're going to try to move through this because like I said, two bags, two full, full bags. I'm going to react with you guys to what I got at the bins in a week. But yeah, this is from two trips. This one I do know what it is because it's hard to forget this. It's this chain linen brimmed hat. And this is actually by a huge bolo brand. We one time talked about, did we do hat bolos or just accessory bolos? Eugenia Kim. I have never in my life found Eugenia Kim. I've seen it at a consignment store for like $300 before, but this is from the bins. And Eugenia Kim makes hats that are so so expensive. Her hats are like $200 to $600. I have not looked into this one that much, but I know it's quite modern and it has this really fun chain that goes with it. And this does go with it. It actually was like kind of detached in the bins. And I was like, I have a feeling that they go together. Sure enough, they do go together. So that is a really, really good find. I was super excited about that. I'm gonna just take turns. So every other piece is from each other bins trip. Next up, we have some Madewell jeans. And they're newer because they have the fair trade label in them. These are the perfect vintage jean, which is one that I do really like to sell, size 27. They're also in this nice, like classic gray black color. Perfect for this time of year. I think all throughout fall, even into like Thanksgiving and late November, people do like their gray and black denim. So that's a great find. Then we have, I believe this is J. Crew. Yes, this is J. Crew outlet size extra small. This is the Teddy sweater. I actually think I remember I found like four of these and this is the only one I'm gonna sell myself. The other were like plain colors. Like I think one was pink, one was like tan, but this one I just thought was so 
cute and so seasonally appropriate. It's decently oversized for an extra small, but it's in really great shape. No pilling or anything at all to it. I think I remember this one as well. And this, yes, is continuing on what I have been obsessed with finding lately and what I've had for some reason a lot of luck finding lately. J. Crew, 100% cashmere extra small, newer label. I told you guys, I am loving finding all this J. Crew cashmere and it is selling like hotcakes for me. So when I found this, I was so excited. This is so soft, needs just a little bit of lint rolling, but it's just like a long sleeve black cashmere sweater. And this, I would guess is what? That label's like 2018 or something. This is from 2019, holiday 2019. Super excited about that. Yes, it's just plain. Honestly, with cashmere, sometimes almost like the plain stuff actually does better. Next. Oh yeah, these I do remember. These are actually Banana Republic. Just wide leg pants, size medium. I just thought they were very seasonally appropriate. They're like ultra wide and they're this like soft, almost like blanket material. So I just feel like these will do quite well. They're also super like current. They're from 2020, holiday 2020. I could see these doing good. If not, I will just consign those. Then we have some Levi's shorts. These are, I believe, 501s. Yes, they're 501s. And as per usual, the 501s do not have a label on the inside there. But these are a size 33. So they are a really good size too. They are button fly. Love me some Levi's shorts. Oh yes, that's right. This I see. Okay, it's coming back to me as we go through it, <laughs> but otherwise I couldn't just like name pieces that I remember. This is like a poncho. I thought it was a blanket, but no, it's actually a poncho and it is by Free People. So this is a great find. It's just one size fits all, but it's yeah, it's like this plaid kind of like scarf fringe poncho. I could see this selling quite quickly. It's also once again in such good condition. Then we have Madewell. Oh yeah, this is really cute. So this is Madewell size medium. And this is a Madewell romper. And it gives me very like safari <laughs> vibes. It's got pockets on the sides, it buttons all the way down. And it's like this nice green like safari color. I also really like this drawstring belt. It's really cute. So you could cinch it to look more like fitted and cute. We have a sweater that is what? Oh, this is smart wool. This is like old smart wool. Was this like pre-knitwit? Where's knitwit? Knitwit? <laughs> that's so sad. I didn't know they like didn't used to use knitwit. If you don't know what knitwit is, that's their like logo guy. But this is an older like cable knit chunky sweater. It's like a zip cardigan jacket. It's got some button details to it too. There are some spots, but smart wool can literally have like holes, spots, kind of anything. Pilling and it still sells well. Just not shrinking. Shrinking is like the only smart wool I would not buy. This should do really good. It's really, really chunky. It's a very nice smart wool piece. Next up we have, I think this is another Madewell. This trip I found a lot of Madewell. Madewell size medium again, super seasonally appropriate. Good like pumpkin patch, good like fall gathering, good like Thanksgiving cranberry color plaid. Super cute. Oh yeah, this is really cute. This is so good for like any season. This is this really adorable, like fluttery yellow gingham floral embroidered dress. It almost gives me like maybe a Madewell, like a good Madewell, or maybe like, it honestly even gives me like Love and Lemons kind of, but actually it is free people and it's size large. This should do really good. I don't see this lasting long in my closet. It's such a cute free people piece, much cuter than a lot of them that I, run into. Then we have a men's piece. This I do remember because I couldn't decide what I wanted to do with it, but it's actually Hugo Boss, which is actually normally a skip for me. Hugo Boss just does not do well, even though it retails really high. But this is a suede, like real genuine suede, like blazer jacket. And I think that this should be able to sell pretty decent. It's really nice suede. It's got like the big buttons to it. And it's not like insanely huge or anything because it's a men's. There is no size tag that I can find currently 
recently, but I would say this would fit really good on like a, lar a men's large, maybe women's XL, but it has the nice big pockets at the front and the suede is just so nice. There's also like no staining or anything or like weird scratches or anything. It's really, really good condition. I'm hoping that if I'm not having much luck with that, I could consign it and maybe they'd mark it pretty high actually because of the brand and the materials. Next up, this is so cute. I'm actually really tempted to keep this. It's Pendleton size large. It's a newer label and it's, it says Mason. It must be like Mason fit. But this is a plaid like flannel from Pendleton. It's not wool. It's just like normal thick cotton flannel material. I love these colors so much. I'm just noticing there's a big paint spot on the back, but honestly, I don't really care. <laughs> like I will just advertise it that way. Pendleton has, oh, there's maybe like pink discoloration too. Maybe I will end up keeping it, who knows, but it's really soft and I don't know, sometimes with flannels, people like them beaten in, so we'll just give it a shot. Then we have another sweater and this is Everlane. This is adorable. This is a size medium. It's a cotton sweater and it is this like really chunky cable knit sleeve sweater. The sleeve's kind of like a balloon and it's got the mock neck, super nice. Needs just the slightest bit of lint rolling, but otherwise super freaking nice. That's the kind of Everlane that I totally still do like to find. Oh, this was a good find. Yeah, good bin strips. Good, good bin strips. This is, <laughs> Speaking of the Halloween video that went up, we did cover this brand and we did. Actually, I don't know if Ryan specifically mentioned this label, even though I told him to. I think he mentioned some of the other labels, but it's Betsy Johnson Black Label, Betsy Johnson New York. That is one of the good Betsy Johnson labels that are like older, probably like 90s, I think, and they are worth quite a bit. This is such a freaking cute piece. It is a dress with blue and green cherries printed all throughout. And it's actually quite long. I'd say this is like a midi length. I don't believe there's anything wrong with this. Nope, all the seams are good and no rips, no like stains or spotting. This is in such good shape, but that print is so cute. And Ryan was very jealous about this one because he's a big fan of selling the black label Betsy Johnson. I actually have not even shown him that yet. I've just told him about it. We have a men's piece. And I think these are good to find. <laughs> it's Chubbies, which is like a more like modern, fun men's swimwear brand. I think Ryan knows more about these than me. Actually, he might even have a pair. But these are the Rooster swimsuit. I love the colors to this. The roosters are, the roosters look like painted, like watercolor almost. These are so stinking cute. This is a men's large seven inch inseam. These should do good. Yeah, those are cute. Next up, what is this? Old Navy. I think that got in the wrong pile. <laughs> Next up, Garnet Hill. This is Garnet Hill, size extra small, and this is a cashmere piece. So that's why I was pretty excited to find this. Again, the like basic cashmere pieces have been doing so good for me this season. There's some tiny pinholes. There's like two on the back. Um, I actually didn't notice those when I first bought this. I'm still gonna list this and give it a shot though, because some people just like the warmth of cashmere and don't really care if there's like a pinhole or two in it. I do have a really, really good luxury find coming up in a couple, so let's keep trekking. Here's a brand I have not found in forever, and that is Universal Standard. I love to sell Universal Standard, even if it's the J. Crew collab, it does so well. This is a size large, and it's just this like white kind of twist top top, and it will do amazing, trust me. It might look like boring and plain, but Universal Standard just does so good. This also, this material is also like super nice. Then we have a scarf and this scarf is by Polo Ralph Lauren. One side is like navy blue and one side is maroon and it does have the little logo right there. I have had a number of Polo scarves before and they usually do quite good for me. Obviously it's a great season for it right now too. It's a mix of lamb's wool and nylon and it's made in Italy. So like, I was not gonna skip this. Oh yeah, I was just gonna, okay. I was just picking this out and I was like, this must be Athleta, which is funny because when I found it in the bins, I was like, oh, yep, this has to be Athleta. Then I was looking it over for the Athleta logo and I stumbled upon a Lulu logo somewhere on here. But right now, 
I see it on the zipper. So this is a Lululemon, Lululemon jacket. And this jacket is kind of like, it kind of, let me zip it up because it seems kind of confusing. But I have not found Lulu in so long at the bins besides just like horrible, horribly like pilly washed leggings. I have not found like a decent piece in forever. So it's this like, yeah, collared zip jacket. It's almost like a moto style. Actually, yeah, maybe it is kind of supposed to be a moto style jacket. I have not looked into this at all, but it is in quite good shape. There's the Lulu logo there. The reason, one of the reasons why I kind of thought it could be Athleta is because it slightly has, slightly, that Athleta like washed feeling that I talk about every once in a while all the time. I'm still happy to find this. I was actually like more excited that it was Lulu because I mean, not that Lulu or Athleta have been doing that good for me lately, but whatever. Then, is this another Old Navy? No, okay. I was like, what's happening? So this must go this way, but the tag is just in a weird spot. It's this pink maxi tiered cotton, like slubbed dress with this keyhole front to it. Super Barbie pink, and this is by Zara, newer label Zara. It's a size medium. This is just so cute. I have to sell this myself. I usually consign my Zara or give it to Debbie, but this one is a keeper. This is just too cute. It's very oversized. I'm surprised, honestly, that it's just a medium, but I love this like material. It always does well, the like slubbed cotton and tiered dresses do good. So this is like a checks all the boxes. Okay, let's keep going. Here's a really cute sweater. I do remember this one. This is by Ever Eve. It's a size medium and it is so soft. It is so cute. It's such a like modern Fair Isle. Like I feel like the whole like neck going down, getting wider Fair Isle is like not outdated, but it's not super in right now. But this type is very in, kind of just like the stripes going across. So soft. I love these colors too. This is like a great fall winter sweater. This has to have like alpaca or something in it. It is so soft. Polyester and acrylic. Well, this is the softest polyester and acrylic I think I've ever felt in my life. Okay, let's do one of the other very good finds, the luxury piece. So you might be able to tell just by the print and the piece what this is. It is this stunning purple and black like bandana print dress. It almost looks like butterflies in the middle, this, this kind of shape right here. So pretty. I hadn't seen it from like afar yet and now I'm like, wow. I love this. These colors together are so gorgeous. This is actually Etro. And it's an Etro size 42, which unfortunately I have no clue what that means. I mean, it looks like a small medium, like a six or eight possibly, but I'm not sure. It has this belt that you can tie across the waist too. This is so pretty. I was like early to the bin that this was in, but I wasn't like right at the rotation. So this had definitely been skipped by a few people and I'm like, that's too bad for you. <laughs> Next up, got some American Eagle jeans and these check all the boxes for my American Eagle styles I like to pick up. We got the relaxed mom style and we got a size 14. So check and check. Super adorable, good wash. Nice, like kind of chewed ankle, just so nice. These are really cute and they'd be really, they're like soft. They'd be very comfortable. Next up, what is this? Oh yes, okay, this is another great find. This is a designer find. It's this like chewed distressed black t-shirt over like a plaid shirt. And this is actually by Generation Love, which is a quite expensive brand. Not, it's kind of hit or miss. Not every piece does good, but some of them can do really good. This is a size large, I would hope that with the like plaid underneath, this could do good right now. And with it being black, it should do pretty good right now. Otherwise, like it is kind of basic, but at the bins especially, I'm totally gonna pick something like that up. Oh, this is weird. I was like, what is this? <laughs> so this is an adult size. Yes, it actually is. This is a little like tank top, little girly tank top. It is a size small and it's by a brand called Sunday, Sunday. This is actually a Ritzia, which is interesting because they have a brand called Sunday Best and then they have, they have another one with the word Sunday, but I had not ever heard of this like Sunday brand 
I just picked it up because I was like, it looks interesting. And then I looked at the tag and I was like, that little like butterfly thing in the bottom looks like an Aritzia logo. So I Googled it and sure enough, this is from Aritzia. I have no clue what to list something so tiny yet, like $25. I don't know, it's like, but I mean, it also cost as much as like the air floating like between the clothes in my cart when I weigh it. So like, couldn't skip it. Then we have Gap jeans. I never really do Gap jeans, but these are size 14 and they are the 90s loose. So I thought if I'm ever gonna try, oh my gosh, they're Gap kids. Ugh. <laughs> I was like, how is this a size 14? Dang. Okay, well, Debbie gets those. They're really cute though. This is really cute though. So this is a brand I have never tried and I don't think it's very valuable. It's Pull and Bear. I also don't know like where it's sold. It could sometimes be at ASOS. I would, I could see that, but I, I literally don't know anything about this brand, but this is just so cool. This is men's Sherpa fleece. Fun colors, fun patterns, snap. Gives me very like Patagonia vibes, but also very like streetwear vibes. I don't know. I was like, I'm just gonna try this. You know what? So it's a size medium, relaxed fit. I was just like, even if this is just like an ASOS level or Urban Outfitters level brand, like this is a really cute piece. And it honestly, like for being chunkier, it doesn't like weigh anything. So it's not that big of a risk or anything. This is adorable. Super excited to find this. J. Crew says 14. Great size, beautiful print. I love this print. It is like a mini dress, very Farm Rio-esque colors and print in my opinion. Just such a cute style. I love finding J. Crew like this. I have been on such, I feel like a J. Crew kick. I have such a like roller coaster career with J. Crew. <laughs> like I feel like when I first started, I loved it. Then I was like, this is a waste of my time. Now I'm like, you know what? Sometimes J. Crew knows what's up. Oh, this is vintage. Unless one of you wants this, I'm gonna hold on to this and keep it as like ammunition for when the vintage guys at my bins find good stuff that I want. I'll be like, I'll trade you this. I actually found two things that I'm doing that with. This is a really old Rolling Stones t-shirt with like the baseball stripe sleeve and neck. It is just a Gildan t-shirt XL. I reverse image searched it and I found it online and whatever it was worth, what it's called, sticky fingers. I don't know. I don't know how like appropriate this t-shirt is. Oh wait, or does it have a year? No, I don't know. I found this online. It's old, it's really old. And I think people list it for like a hundred bucks. It's like I could list it, but like, I'd rather keep it and trade it. So that's what I'm gonna do. We have another J. Crew piece. Speaking of J. Crew, size small, and this is a quite older cotton blazer. I think this one's really cute. It's very like thick and soft cotton. I assume. Yep, that's what it is. Just super nice. This is from 2006, so a little old. But I like this like neck detail to it under the collar. I just love a J. Crew blazer. So. I've said that before, I don't really care about like the age of them and that still is true. <laughs> these are really cute and these remind me of some Free People pants that I just found recently, even though I'm fairly certain they are not the exact same pair. So these are some plaid Free People pants, kind of like a jogger style in plaid. There's the label, they are a size zero, even though they're like not that tiny for a zero to be honest, but they're pretty short. So I'm sure they're like ankle pants, but of course, great season to find a pattern like that. We got another luxury brand, even though this isn't like the best piece by them. This is 80s two ply cotton. Cool, so I guess this is from the 80s. Weird of them to say that. It's Burberry, but it's old enough where it's Burberry's. Just like a plaid button up. I don't know. I don't really want to send this into the real real because I'll get like, zero dollars and zero cents. I don't know what I can list it for either. Like 40 bucks, maybe. Sad that it's just like, it's a Burberry find and it's like, can I get 40? I hope. Then, oh yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna show these two at the same, not same time, but one after another though. These have to be from the same person, even though they were from totally, totally different rotations, like two hours apart. But I love both of these. And they're brands that I don't always like. So this is Vince, size large. And this is like, a pleated, so it's a polo neck, pleated 
cream, super freaking like Y2K, pleats please, Issey Miyake type top. This is so, so trendy. So trendy. Like I'm over the moon excited about this Vince piece. And then this one, another super trendy color, super ribbed, super ribbed, but it's like other levels of ribbed, but very like, very just like heavy duty ribbing. And this is Rag and Bone XL. Great size too. These are some great pieces to find. Like if I have to find Rag and Bone and Vince, those two are what I want to find every time I find them. Got another pair of American Eagle jeans. These are American Eagle next level stretch. And these are size four, six, size six. But I got them because they're the super high rise flare. Love a boot cut flare like bell bottom jean. So even though they're size six, I just think they're such a trendy, cute style that they will still do good. Okay, we, I mean, there's a there's a handful left, but we're getting quite close. Let's get them all out. There we go. Okay, so I would say we have like 10, give or take, things left. First of this 10 is Zaya. I have not found Zaya in a million and a half years. This is a size medium. That must be kind of like a new Zaya label, but these are some like elastic waist drawstring like pants, just straight leg pants. There's a nice logo there. These are really, really nice. These are some of the like nicest Zaya pants I think I've ever found. And they're not like a jogger ankle or anything. They're just like slim straight leg pants. Very nice, like kind of soft athletic material too. Speaking of pants, let's do these other two pants. These ones, oh yeah, these are Lafayette 148 size 10. I, I, I wouldn't normally sell Lafayette myself, but we're getting to the point with the real real and with consigning where I'm like, a lot of times I feel like I just should. These are like wide leg camel color pants. Consignment stores would list this at like, 20 at the highest, so I get like nine bucks. Real Real would probably 40, $35 on these, so I'd get like, what, $7? Not, like nothing. So if I can sell these myself for just like at least 35, 30 or something, that's the route to go. They're just too cute. Like this wide, almost flared ankle to them, they're high rise, and they are what? It's totally covered up, but I am nearly certain that these are wool. These are really nice. I know that they're just plain, but there is nothing wrong with them. And they're just so nice. And you know the retail was like $500. So like, I will sell them myself. Same with these. And I would almost keep these if they fit me. They are so nice. These are Ralph Lauren Blue Label, made in the USA, size six. These are 100% wool, beautiful, wide leg, pinstripe dress pants in black. Oh, 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 these are so nice. And I know it's just Ralph Lauren, but like, they're so nice, they're so nice. And also like the blue label is really expensive. So there's purple label and black label are the most expensive. Blue label is like the next, then probably polo. Oh, and then there's country. I, there's so many labels, but that is one of the better labels especially an older piece, especially made of wool, especially made in the USA. So that should hopefully do good. Maybe on eBay or something, it'll do best, but we'll see. I think this is my only vintage blazer of the day. I really like this one. It's like a very textured, structured wool with these fun, like, what do you call these buttons? These like woven kind of leather buttons. I don't know like the name for that, but that's what this has all over. This is from Colors by Alexander Julian, but the brand never matters to me on these old ones. It is 100% wool and the size is totally gone. <laughs> but I'd say like men's large XL. So women's like boxy XL or something. This is just really nice. I like this blazer and the blazers, what it was like two, three what sold Saturdays ago, like all I sold was blazers. So hard for me to pass on them. Then we have this cute little top. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, totally forgot about this. Totally forgot I found this. I found a Veronica beard piece, which is like the second or third time ever that out in the wild I have found it. Really adorable puff sleeve 
gingham plaid little blouse top super like farm super like country <laughs> super like fall so adorable it's just got this like round neck to it so that it doesn't like mock neck or anything so cute oh actually it only buttons like here down so there's like when it buttons it's like kind of like a v with like a round neck there's one Spot. There's a couple spots here that I think they look like probably like from food. Hopefully I can just wash those out, but we shall see. Got some shorts. These are some newer Pilcrow shorts. Pilcrow by Anthro. These are the High Rise Slim. High Rise Slim? What makes a short slim? There is no way, no, there's no way someone got these hemmed. Like the stitching in the hem matches like all the other stitching. Why are they slim? Someone help me with that. I don't know. They're Pilcrow shorts. Slim Pilcrow shorts, I guess. They're a size 26. Two more, two more things. This first one, I knew what it was right when I grabbed it. Looking at it from the back, I bet a lot of you know as well. And this is a Madewell sweater. It's a cardigan, extra small. I've had this cardigan so many times. They used to fetch you like $60 a piece. And now it's like, can you please give me 20? <laughs> I, I feel like, I mean, I haven't had that colorway. I feel like there's a different colorway that's much more common that doesn't do as well anymore, but maybe that colorway is more rare. I have no clue. But my last find is a cabby piece, and it's a really good cabby piece, actually. It's a size two, it's older cabby, but it's this amazing, like, quilted jacquard, like, embossed, stitched, embroidered, floral coat. It has these like amazing detailed buttons at the front. I love this print. It's almost like a grandma's curtain in a good way. And then it has this velvet belt that you can tie around yourself to hold it like shut or make it more like slimming or hourglass shaped. This thing is so nice. And the comps on this are like a hundred at least. So this was a great find. I just love this coat. I think it's so nice, perfectly like vintage, like perfectly dated. Like, I just think that's so nice. I'm rarely, rarely do I sell vintage cabby label myself, but that one is just too good. Okay, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this haul. Let me know what your favorite thing was from this haul. Just so you know, I haven't filmed in over a week, which is the longest I've went in probably years without filming. Literally, we pre-filmed so much. So I could have been rusty. This could have been not as entertaining, not as fast paced, or too slow, too fast, I don't know. But bear with me, I'm getting back into it. We are starting off with our like, life as usual now, things are cooling down, things are slowing down, and we will have so much more time to like, put into work and just like, videos and normal, normal life things. Not just like, endless huge life events. So, let me know what your favorite thing was that I found. Cannot wait to go back to the bins next week. I'm making myself not go this week because I have all this to photograph, but I would, I'm, I am going next week. I need to. So I will see you guys on Saturday with Ryan for a regular What's on Saturday and a little story time at the end. And then I'll see you on Tuesday for something else. <laughs> Goodbye.